Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a really great week and a holiday time and break or whatever it is that you're doing. I can't believe Christmas is just less than a week away. It's crazy. I am 0% ready, um, but today we're going we're gonna to do a little project that's going to help us get a little bit closer to being ready. We are actually filming in our new studio office. It's so beautiful in here. I can't wait to show you guys. It's, there's still just a few little things that they're finishing up, um, but today they painted uh, the ceiling, and it's like really strong in here, so I have the windows open. Um, but anyways, we're going to start moving in here this weekend, which is going to be so exciting. It's just such a beautiful airy space it just it's like a complete transformation you guys won't believe what this area <laughs> looked like before so we'll do we'll do like a quick tour of that once the space is all complete but today we are going to be working on a project that's going to hopefully help me and maybe you get a little bit closer to being ready with all of your Christmas gifts if you're not completely done yet so one of the things that I love to do every year is have backup gifts so these are my like you know uh, uh, uh oh I forgot this person but you know they showed up at your door or at your house and they have a gift for you and you don't want to be empty-handed so I typically will have plans to give away or I like to do like boxes of really nice chocolates or candles I like to pick things that are universal that, that people are going to love like no matter your age group or what your interests are and I think plants is one of those things that everybody loves like whether you, you're not a garden person or you're not really like a house plant person, I think people appreciate having something green and colorful and that's like living in their home. So today we're gonna be making a few uh, beautiful arrangements. These are gonna be super easy to put together. Um, there's so many like readily available beautiful house plants right now. So you can find them at any big box store at your local nursery. Um, it's not going to be a challenge to find most of the plants that I'm going to show you guys today. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Again, it's just one of those things that I love Christmas. I love giving gifts. I love receiving gifts, but I love giving gifts the most. Um, and I just think it's always nice when you make something, especially when it's something so beautiful and you put your own touch on it and I think people just really appreciate that and you kind of surprise them because these are such easy arrangements to put together I'm gonna to show you um, and it just it looks so professional and like wow so anyways let me show you guys the plants that we have and we will get started okay so these are the plants that we're gonna be using so I kind of bought a variety of um, plants with different colors and textures so again just make sure you're doing that like if you're going to plant things together make sure they can grow together but they also complement each other you know as far as texture and color and height all of that so let's start off over here so I did get some succulents because I think succulents are a staple so many people love succulents whether it's like a younger person who's just getting into plants or somebody who you know is already an avid gardener or a plant lover they love succulents and i especially love this one here with those red tips i just think it looks so festive and fun and right now there's just like my gosh everywhere i go everybody has beautiful succulent selection i also picked up this cactus right here it's just a little christmas cactus i'm thinking these three can go together because they don't require a lot of water so I think this would be a really cute combination um, right over here we have this pretty lemon cypress I love these so much because of the scent so if you have somebody that you know loves citrus scents like this is such a like beautiful plant to give anybody and a lot of times you can kind of shear them to like different shapes and they're just I think they're pretty easy to, to take care of and they can stand a little bit like cooler weather so if you also have like somebody who has a porch or maybe like a sunroom, this would be a perfect gift for them. I also have this really pretty cyclamen because, well, you know, it's Christmas time and these are just such a staple and I love that just bright, deep red. And I think these two together would complement each other so well because they're so bright and loud and I think they would just bounce off of each other so pretty. Um, and then I have this just asserted little fern. I just love how like free and just kind of crazy <laughs> it looks. It's kind of, it has no like growth pattern. It's just kind of wild and I love that. I also have this really sweet little uh, African violet. And these are just so fun because they flower 
And who doesn't like want something that's flowering right now inside something pretty to look at while everything else in the garden is just kind of asleep. Um, and they last for a long time. So I love these. I also love their little velvety leaves, just like such a pretty texture. Um, and then I have this little palm just because I think these are fun. They're like simple, they're fun, and I love the height that this one gives. And you can tell, like all of the plants that we selected, they're all really small. So again, these are gonna be really easy to find um, pretty much anywhere right now. And then last but not least, I have this really pretty begonia. I think begonias are so fun. Um, they have so many different colors, which is one of the things I love about them. You can find so many different varieties, especially right now. And what I love about this one specifically is how it has this dark vein and this kind of purple iridescent like on the outside, I just, it reminds me of like an eyeshadow. You know, like we have those sparkly eyeshadows and they kind of like reflect light. Um, and I feel like that's what this begonia does. It's just so pretty. Like the light is not doing justice right now, but outside, oh, this one just looks so gorgeous. I also have some amaryllises just because I think they're such a staple. Everybody loves amaryllises. I did do a video last year where I showed you guys how to take care of them and how I like to judge mine up just because this one over here, like you can see I put some moss around it, which I think this looks really pretty and simple and like just classy, it didn't take a lot of effort, but I think we can do a lot better with these. Okay, now this amaryllis here, I'm thinking I'm going to put it in this container. So instead of planting it in here because this container is not meant to grow anything in, it's just like a decorative bowl. We're gonna, I planted it in this little container here and then we'll just place it in here and dress it up. So I also have some really pretty greens that we used in another project. So we'll use this maybe to decorate this amaryllis I'm thinking. And I also have these really pretty like, earthy, I don't even know what you call these, like these little decorative balls <laughs> that I got at Michael's last year that I used in one of our trees. So I'm thinking we could use these, and maybe this box over here somehow. Um, and then I have some potting soil, some cactus soil, uh, my trusty wooden spoon. And then I also have just some like assorted mosses. I'm sorry, this drawer is really messy, but um, we have some sheet moss, uh, some of like reindeer moss. So there's quite a variety of mosses in here that we'll take a look, we might use some of this. The only, you know, sad part is about making these is a lot of my pretty picks are in storage. So like all of my Christmas decorations um, are in storage. So we're gonna kind of use what we have out. But yeah, I think we'll just set up the camera now. Um, these are the containers that we're gonna be using and all of them have drainage holes. And all I've done so far is just add the soil. Like I just did this off camera just because it's literally me filling container with soil. So anyways, um, the amaryllis as we did plant um, a few days ago, but you can see again in the video that I posted last year, it's a little bit more detailed, but I planted them just about a third or like a quarter to a third way down. So you don't plant amaryllis as deep at all. So anyways, let's get started.
so beautiful. I'm so happy with all of the arrangements we made. So let's talk a little bit about each one and kind of what the process was. So again, with the amaryllis back here, I just wanted to keep it super simple and just have like some decorations on the bottom. I use this, this little uh, bottle brush um, tree and I love using little uh, bottle brush trees for decorations. I actually have some here that I bought um, just like a little, a little, uh, set of them and they're just really fun to have for like decorations you could have also as easily used um, something like this where it's more of like an ornament um, or this is a decoration but you could also use an ornament so I just think adding a little bit of just onesie like at the bottom of each 
you know, container with the lamarillus, I think always looks pretty. I had Sergey run out and give me some red twig dogwoods. And typically I like to use um, more of like the sparkly picks uh, when I'm using amar or planting amaryllises. But I think this turned out really good. And I think it's like just kind of earthy and natural looking. Um, so super happy about that. I love the way this one turned out too. I think anytime you can use fresh greens and arrangements, like it just, it's, it's so great because it smells so beautiful in here. And it's just because of all of these beautiful greens that we used. Um, again, we just stuck all of the, um, the greens right into the soil. So these should last for quite a while. I don't think they're going to dry out as long as the soil is staying moist around the amaryllis. You could spray everything with a little bit of wilt stop, but honestly, I think that's a little bit overkill. I think this will be just fine. And then I also added some moss around the container as you guys can see right there, just to hide the mechanics. So I didn't want the plastic container to show. And then we added some of the, um, just these little fake berries. You can obviously use real ones, but I just went with these just because I think, you know, somebody can use them over and over again. And honestly, it's so cold outside. I didn't want to go foraging for any. Now over here, this is probably one of my favorites, or it might be actually be my favorite. I just love how dark and moody this one looks. I love that I used this large pine cone just because I wanted it to make a statement. I was kind of fussing around a little bit um, to see if I wanted to use like a little tree, but I think this pine cone just is like, bam, in your face, it's a pine cone. <laughs> There's no like question about it. And I think it's just very like, I don't know, it's just very classy looking to me with all of these dark uh, colors. And then I just used a, um, Again, another decorative bowl, but there is a little drainage hole on this one just because the succulents where I originally was going to plant this begonia, like they ended up needing that container. And actually, let's talk about the succulent one next. This one I probably fussed with the most just because anytime I am uh, planting succulents, I really hate when the soil gets inside of the succulents and I wanted to make sure that all of the, the rocks covered the whole soil. I really don't like exposed soil when I am using rocks. I typically will go for smaller rocks, um, but this was the only thing that I can find right now. All of our other decorative rocks is packed away, but this one, I believe I just picked it up at the Dollar Tree. So super inexpensive, and I think it just looks so pretty. I did have the little um, decorative picks on there, but I took those out just because I think it looks much better, just like simple. And I don't know, to me, this still looks very festive and Christmassy. And last but not least is this one, which I think is probably the most Christmassy one out of all of them. I love the red cyclamen. I think it plays really well with the really like green over here. And again, with the moss around, I think it just looks so like effortless and earthy and beautiful. And again, if you want something that is very Christmas-like, I think this is probably the combination I would go with. I did also add some of the sheet moss just to cover everything up, um, the soil, and I also used some of this white reindeer moss just to add like a little a different color and texture. And then for the berries, the little faux berries that we used, you guys saw that I cut them up. So from the stem that they're typically in, I'll show you. So they come like this, but I just cut each one up and I just shove them down into the soil. I just think it looks prettier like this and they're kind of scattered around and um, I don't know. I just think it looks really pretty and like it kind of looks like it, somebody just dropped these in there and it just looks effortless in my opinion. So, but yeah, I am <laughs> so happy with these. Like as excited as I am to potentially give them away, I kind of hope like I can just use the other extra gifts that I bought and keep these for myself because they are so, so pretty. Now, as far as maintenance go, you will have to take care of these plants until you're ready to give them away or you're gonna keep them for yourself. Um, for most of the plants, I'm gonna keep them in an area like near a window that gets a lot of bright light, especially with the amaryllises. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but anytime I have an amaryllis that is in a darker area, it just grows longer and longer and longer and longer. So I feel like keeping them in an area that gets plenty of light um, helps them kind of stay a little bit shorter, which is what I personally 
personally like. Um, but yeah, like everything else, I'll water once a week. Um, again, remember when you're watering your amaryllis, you're not watering the top, but just kind of around the bulb. Um, the succulents, I'll probably water once every two weeks, maybe every three weeks, just depending on how moist they are. So just make sure you poke around in there to see um, how the soil feels. But for the most part, like these are pretty easy to take care of. They don't require a lot of maintenance, and that's what I love about these. And I promise you, if you go to any nursery right now, you're going to see really beautiful arrangements like these, and they are like some of them are super expensive, and you can totally do this yourself. And like, look at how beautiful they turned out. I think. Again, anybody's gonna be really happy to get any of these arrangements that we put together today, and it really took no time at all. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.